Genesis chapter 10 Nations descended from Noah These are the generations of the sons of Noah Shem Ham and Japheth Sons were born to them after the flood The sons of Japheth Gomer Magog Madai Javan Tubal Meshech and Tiras The sons of Gomer Ashkenaz, Rifat and Togarma. The sons of Javan, Elisha, Tashish, Kitim and Dodanim. From these the coastland people spread. These are the sons of Japheth in their lands, each with his own language, by their families in their nations. The sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put and Canaan. The sons of Cush, Seba, Havila, Sapta, Rama and Sapteka. The sons of Rama, Sheba and Dedan. Cush became the father of Nimrod. He was the first on earth to be a mighty man. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore it is said, like Nimrod a mighty hunter before the Lord. The beginning of his kingdom was Babel, Iraq and Akkad, all of them in the land of Shinar. From that land he went to Assyria and built Nineveh, Rehoboth, Ir, Kala and Resen between Nineveh and Kala. That is the great city. Egypt became the father of Ludim, Anamim, Lehabim, Naphtuhim, Patrusim, Kasulehim, whence came the Philistines and Kaphtorim. Canaan became the father of Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth and the Jebusites, the Amorites, the Girgashites, the Hivites, the Archites, the Sinites, the Arvadites, the Zemurites, and the Hamathites. Afterward, the families of Canaanites spread abroad. And the territory of the Canaanites extended from Sidon in the direction of Gerar as far as Gaza and in the direction of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma and Zeboim as far as Lasha. These are the sons of Ham by their families, their languages, their lands and their nations. To Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber the eldest brother of Japheth children were born the sons of Shem Elam Ashur Arpashad Lud and Aram the sons of Aram Uz Hul Githa and Mash Arpashad became the father of Shelah and Shelah became the father of Eber to Eber were born two sons the name of the one was Peleg For in his days the earth was divided and his brother's name was Joktan. Joktan became the father of Almudad, Shelef, Hazarmavit, Jira, Hadoram, Uzal, Dikla, Obal, Abimael, Sheba, Ophir, Havila and Jobab. All these were sons of Joktan. The territory in which they lived extended from Mesha in the direction of Sifar to the hill country of the east. These are the sons of Shem by their families, their languages, their lands and their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah according to their genealogies in their nations and from these the nation spread abroad on the earth after the flood. Genesis chapter 11 the tower of babel now the whole earth had one language and few words and as men migrated from the east they found a plain in the land of shinar and settled there and they said to one another come let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly and they had brick for stone and bitumen for mortar then they said Come let us build ourselves a city 
and a tower with its top in the heavens. And let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Behold, they are one people and they have all one language, and this is only the beginning of what they will do. And nothing that they propose to do will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they left off the building the city. Therefore its name was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. Descendants of Shem These are the descendants of Shem. When Shem was a hundred years old, he became the father of Arpashad two years after the flood. And Shem lived after the birth of Arpashad five hundred years and had other sons and daughters. When Arpashad had lived thirty-five years, he became the father of Shelah. And Arpashad lived after the birth of Shelah four hundred and three years and had other sons and daughters. When Shelah had lived thirty years, he became the father of Eber. And Shelah lived after the birth of Eber four hundred and three years and had other sons and daughters. When Eber had li lived thirty-four years, he became the father of Peleg. And Eber lived after the birth of Peleg four hundred and thirty years and had other sons and daughters. When Peleg had lived thirty years, he became the father of Reu. And Peleg lived after the birth of Reu two hundred and nine years and had other sons and daughters. When Reu had lived thirty-two years, he became the father of Sirach. And Reu lived after the birth of Sirach two hundred and seven years and had other sons and daughters. When Sirach had lived thirty years, he became the father of Nahor. And Sirach lived after the birth of Nahor two hundred years and had other sons and daughters. When Nahor had lived twenty-nine years, he became the father of Terah. And Nahor lived after the birth of Terah a hundred and nineteen years and had other sons and daughters. When Terah had lived seventy years, he became the father of Abraham, Nahor, and Haran. Descendants of Terah Now these are the descendants of Terah. Terah was the father of Abraham, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran was the father of Lot. Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his birth in Ur of the Chaldeans. And Abraham and Nahor took wives. The name of Abraham's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah and Ishcah. Now Sarai was barren; she had no child. Tara took Abraham his son, and Lot the son of Aharon, his grandson, and Sarai his daughter-in-law, his son Abraham's wife, and they went forth together from Ur of the Chaldeans. To go into the land of Canaan, but when they came to Haran, they settled there. The days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Haran. Genesis chapter twelve: The Call of Abraham. Now the Lord said to Abraham, "Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you." and i will make you make of you a great nation and i will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing i will bless those who bless you and him who curses you i will curse and by you 
all the families of the earth shall bless themselves so abram went as the lord had told him and lot went with him abram was 75 years old when he departed from haran and abram took sarai his wife and lot his brother's son and all their possessions which they had gathered and the persons that they had gotten in haran and they set forth to the go to the land of canaan when they had come to the land of canaan abram passed through the land to the place at shechem to the oak of more at that time the canaanites were in the land then the lord appeared to abram and said to your descendants i will give this land so he built there an altar to the lord who had appeared to him then he removed to the mountain on the east of bethel and pitched his tent with bethel on the west and i on the east and there he built an altar to the lord and called on the name of the lord and abram journeyed on still going toward the negev abraham and sarai in egypt now there was a famine in the land so abraham went down to egypt to sojourn there for the famine was severe in the land when he was about to enter egypt he said to sarai his wife i know that you are a woman beautiful to behold and when the egyptians see you they will say this is his wife then they will kill me but they will let you live say you are my sister that it may go well with me because of you and that my life may be spared on your account when abraham entered egypt the egyptians saw that the woman was very beautiful and when the princess of pharaoh saw her they praised her to pharaoh and the woman was taken into pharaoh's house and for her sake he dealt well with abraham and he had sheep oxen he asses men servants maid servants she asses and camels but the lord afflicted pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of sarai abraham's wife so pharaoh called abraham and said what is this you have done to me why did you not tell me that she was your wife why did you say she is my sister so that i took her for my wife now then here's your wife take her and be gone and pharaoh gave men orders concerning him and they set him on the way with his wife and all that he had 